I want to examine with you um, four, four cases. Okay, they are absolutely an example of, of what you can do in prosthodontics by means of this approach, Titan guided approach, uh, Titan, Titan based dentistry, like, like I said. Um, this is um, a case of two, two arches, okay, full rehab. It's it not nothing new, okay, it's an old case. And I, I have, and also at that time, I've, I've got 100% uh, uh, of guided surgery in my during my life as a practitioner, um, and I did prefer to have guided surgery on on the upper jaw and the lower jaw at the same time. This is this was my approach. Okay, not it at all. I started from the uh, total rehabs. Okay, and that are here and. When I started this case, uh, and this is uh, for the, the first two cases I present to you. When I started the, this case, I didn't have Titan. It didn't exist. exist. Uh, so I started uh, as usually, okay, uh, 3D X-ray, uh, workshops, and all the parameters uh, with my technician, we choose uh, the, the best parameters and the best aesthetics, uh, the symmetry of the face of the passion and uh, the lip support and so on. Um, and after that, my my surgery. Okay, at that time, I preferred a lot uh, the, the flapless approach. Uh, nowadays, I, I prefer the flap approach, uh, but I had, I have 100% of uh, guided surgical uh, approach. Um, by the way, in just one visit, uh, this is the situation. All the implant positioned, everything was was good. And after uh, osteointegration, the analogical impression. Okay, because this is a very hard case. I, I don't work at all uh, nowadays in analogical world. I'm full full digital, hundred percent full digital. But this is uh, maybe uh, ten years ago. Okay, and I realized uh, two structures, two full arches, uh, Toronto bridges, one uh, with ceramics, um, metal ceramics, okay, no zirconia, and one on the upper jaw and one of the lower jaw. And everything, it, the photo is, uh, the photography is, is not so good, but uh, because of the position of the jaw, but uh, it was everything was pretty good okay the contact points were pretty good uh, the aesthetics pretty good uh, the patient was very happy but uh, in after after that point and this is not usually to 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 talk uh, between colleagues about this kind of uh, situation but but it's it's true because after the end of this work i started with fractures of ceramics and a lot of times in the same point uh, in in the area of 2.3 okay this was very strange to me i didn't understand okay i changed uh, uh, the the ceramic and then that point and i changed the contact points uh, in protrusion and in lateral movements i we didn't understand with my technician everything uh, um, look at pretty good, but the, there was something we we didn't care. Okay, and uh, at at a certain point, five years ago, I started working, or maybe four and a half years ago, I started working with uh, with Titan. Okay, and this this was one of my first passions with Titan. Because I wanted to see if maybe maybe something about, related about muscles. Okay, I didn't understand, and I started this examination. Okay, this is a full screen, and you can uh, you can see uh, pretty good, I, I think. And and this is the examination. You have uh, we had uh, prevalence on the left. 
okay the the blue point uh, on the left uh, on the um, temporals uh, a little prevalence on the right with masseters the barycenter is absolutely on the anteriors um, there is also a torsion tendency on the left side and look at the impact the impact 290 it, it's absolutely a high value okay um, it was not the normality it was not good um, i started thinking about this value and i i chose with my passion these are uh, the old values uh, they are bigger so you can read i i chose um, this kind of approach i had uh, a bite splint two millimeters and i started to um to maintain this bite bite splint on the lower jaw okay uh, and to rebalance the contact point okay between left and right anterior and posterior uh, trying of, of course some, something better okay and this is after 90 days everything was perfect and also the patient was perfect of course you, you are thinking about okay you have the raising of the bite splint maybe okay uh, but i wanted a new occlusal plane maybe the the vertical dimension was absolutely wrong i i started thinking this way and, and it, it was true i absolutely had a wrong uh, choice of a vertical dimension with my technician uh, basing on only on the aesthetics and only on, on parameters that are on literature okay uh, and absolutely not working uh, guided from the muscles but i started thinking to to have a new occlusal plane okay to obtain absolutely this kind of balance and this is the new structure this is one of the most important uh, moments uh, when we uh, we have to use the thetan. There is when you have the biscuit proof, okay. When you have the the raw structure with no glaze on on the ceramics, and you can you can have a lot of uh, changes on the occlusal plane. And this is the the, the first trying of this uh, of this structure everything was perfect okay we we uh, maintained all the uh, balance uh, of the bite splint previous bite, bite splint okay this is the, the new occlusion and the the results um, it's not only related of course after that we we went on glazing and we finishing uh, so the color matched uh, 100 percent and so on but um, the point is that prosthodontics is not only related to um, aesthetics okay not in 2020 okay this is of course uh, an important aspect the aesthetics uh, but we we don't want fractures we don't want failures we don't want uh, to manage uh, the, the passion okay and mm, it's very funny that in the last four years i saw this patient two times uh, two uh, times a year okay for my check and i didn't have no more fractures okay and it was a good result to me of course the patient is very very happy today i changed the balance band and the balance with my titan i changed the uh, vertical dimension i changed not not only the contact points okay but where the contact points uh, are and same materials same a good uh, aesthetics of course um same ceramics but absolutely no more fractures.